Hello! I started doing these reviews of Philippine media last Christmas. For the longest time, I've wanted to do this, as far back as December of 2014. However, I only had the time to do so last December 2019. I had to fulfill other people's dreams first. But now, I have finally the time to do something that I love and also to fill a hole that has remained unfilled for the longest time. Right now, I've focused on looking at and analyzing Filipino songs. But I hope to extend this show to Filipino films and television shows. Thank you to all who have watched these videos and who have given me feedback. Rest assured that I will continue to grow as a creator as we go along this journey. But the only way I can continue to evolve is if I put out reviews regularly on a weekly basis rather than as a sideline. Otherwise, I would not be able to release reviews regularly, but for intervals of God knows when. I do everything from writing the script, to recording the video, to editing, to uploading the video on YouTube, and finally promoting it through social media sites. However, because of this, I cannot afford to improve the show beyond what is currently in my control. Hence, to save up on additional expenses, such as equipment, I have decided to open a Patreon account. For fixed amounts, I offer certain perks and benefits, such as early access to videos, your name at the end credits of each review, and finally, even the power to request a review of certain Philippine media, be it a Filipino song, an album, a film or movie, or a television show. For more information, please visit patreon.com slash baliktanaw. I hope that you will support me as I continue to grow and evolve and develop. Thank you for watching my reviews, for sharing them on various social media platforms, for engaging in discussion, and for giving me feedback. Reviews come out 6 p.m. Philippine time on Mondays. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this video. Mabuhay! Ako si Emir, at tayo'y muling magbalik tanaw sa nakaraan. Pinanganak ako noong dekada 90, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun ay batang 90s na ako. Hindi ako lumaki noong dekada 90. Sa halip, lumaki ako noong dekada 2000s. Kaya, mas akmang tawagin akong batang 2000s. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun ay hindi ko na pwedeng enjoyin ang tunog 90s. Marami akong mga kanta na mula sa dekadang iyon na makikita ninyo sa playlist ko. Siyempre, may mga banyaga. Pero di hamak na mas marami ang mga Pinoy. River Maya nung si Bambu pa yung bokalista, parokya ni Edgar, Yano, at syempre ang Pinoy band ng dekada 90. Pag sinabi mong OPM 90s, sila agad ang may isip mo. In no particular order, Eli Buendia, Raymond Marasigan, Buddy Zabala, Marcus Adoro. Eraser Heads. Nahilig ako sa mga kanta ng E-Heads nung nasa kolehiyo ako. Siguro kasi nag ako, kaya nakarelate ako sa mga kanta nila. Pero hindi ganon kalimitado ang appeal ng banda. Nakaka-relate ang marami sa tema ng kanilang mga kanta. Madaling tumatak sa utak ang kanilang himig at mga salita. Idagdag pa natin dyan ang malamig ang nakakabighani 
at ang magandang boses ni Eli Buendia. Binabalik-balikan pa rin hanggang ngayon ang kanilang mga obra. Gusto kong ibahagi sa inyo ang mga paborito kong awit ng Ehens. Awit. Hindi filler. Hindi kasama dito yung mga pang-segue nila sa pagitan ng mga album. Alam nyo na, yung mga katulad ng Punk Zappa at Prof. Van Loy's Transcendental Medication After Every Six Months or Punk Zappa 3. Punk Zappa 1. 3. Ano nangyari sa 2? Teka nga, check natin. Uh... Okay, okay. May Punk Zappa 2, pero hindi Punk Zappa 2 ang pamagat, kundi No Royalty Album Filler Number 9. Consistency? Who cares? Para sa video na ito, nais kong magpasalamat sa The Shizo Archives. Ginamit ko ang kanilang website para magsaliksik habang pinaghahandaan ang video na ito. Mabibisita ang kanilang Eraserheads Archive sa e-headsoffline.com, eheadsonline.com, o shizo-archives.com slash eraserheads. Sa huli, opinion ko lang ang aking listahan dito. Kung may kontra kayo, pwede kayong mag-comment sa baba, o kaya gawa rin kayo ng sarili niyong video. Total, malayang bansa pa naman ang Pilipinas. Ano, game na? Tara! Ito ang aking top 10 Eraserhead songs. Ikasampu. Mas danong aking mata, di mo ba nakikita? Ako ngayon'y lumilipad at nasa langit na gusto mo pang sumama. Yung ibang mga kanta ng E-Heads, hindi ko alam kung kailan ko sila naging gusto. Pero itong alapaap, tandang-tanda ko pa rin hanggang ngayon kung kailan. Una kong pinakinggan ang kantang ito noong unang taon ko sa kolehiyo habang pinapanood ko ang reunion concert ng banda na ginanap noong 2008 sa BGC. Yung concert ko saan inatake sa puso si Eli Buendia, kaya hindi natapos. This song has a slow build-up, but you know it makes sense. Great things take time. We can't start high energy all the time. I guess that's why the band chose this as its opening song to pump up or hype the crowd. I like this song because of its theme. Alapaap is about breaking free. We're breaking free, we're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Sabi sa inyo, batang 2000s ako eh. Alapaap is about forgetting one's problems and having fun. Just savor the fleeting moment. Enjoy the ride while it lasts. I wouldn't read too much into the song if I were you. I think Eli Buendia said it best. Pahabol na lang. Tumatak din sa akin itong alapaap kasi ginamit itong jingle ng Green Witch. 5, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, With a smile, you can't win at everything, but you can try. Tandaan natin na close-up jingle ang with a smile. Kaya alam na natin ang mensahe ng kanta. Gaya ng awit na Closer You and I, ang with a smile ay tungkol sa dalawang tao na nahulog ang loob sa isa't isa dahil sa kanilang mga mapuputing ngipin. Hindi. Hindi yon ang tema ng with a smile. Kaya nagtataka ako kung talaga bang naging close-up jingle ang kantang ito. Sa kantang With a Smile, sinusuyo ng e-heads tayong mga nakikinig. Hindi para ligawan, kundi para mapanatag ang ating mga kalooban. At kahit na ayaw na ng lahat ng mga tao sa atin, nandyan pa rin ang banda para samahan at damayan tayo. Or you know, 
As the second music video, the one with the little girl implies, maybe the band is trying to trick us. Look at the video. There's this girl who is literally stuck in the middle of nowhere with nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, until for some reason, she finds a swimming pool in the middle of nowhere, she sees the band members in one seas, she finally lets down her inhibitions, has fun, jumps around, and then licks ice cream before she faints. We don't know what happens to her afterwards. Was the swimming pool just a mind game, a trick? Because her mind was already tired of trying to break free? It's a trap! Eh, hindi ko hahayaang sirain ng matalinhaga o cryptic na music video ng With a Smile ang mga dahilan kung bakit ko gusto ang awit na ito. Bakit ko gusto ang With a Smile? Teka, mabagal ang kantong ito ha. Di ba ayaw ko sa mababagal na kanta? Ayaw ko sa mga usad pagong o nakakaantok na mga awi. Pero hindi nakakaantok ang with a smile. Sa katunayan nga, ang sarap nitong kantahin eh. Hindi ako tumutugtog ng instrumento. Kaya boses ko lang ang puhunan ko. Kaya kahit tanggalin mo yung gitara sa with a smile, mas maganda nga eh. Mas nagiging intimate tuloy yung dating ng Awit. Pag walang himig. Hmm. Siguro ang sarap nitong kantahin habang hinahaplos-haplos mo ang buhok ng mahal mong nakahiga naman sa kandungan mo. Hmm. Ocho, ocho. Bahay namin malit lamang Pero, 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 pero malinis to pati sa kusina Kumain man kami laging sama-sama. Gusto ko yung intro nung concert nila noong 2008. They try to tell us we're too old. Too old to really get bold. This, 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 this song is about overcoming the odds. Although adults have repeatedly told them that they're too young to enter into a relationship. Get it? Too young, too young. It's a pun. Uh, the singer and too young just keep on trucking. They live in a simple house. They play pen pen de sarapen. They eat puto and sky flakes. And then they hang out at Tandang Sora while watching the build up of traffic along Commonwealth Avenue. Or, you know, the lyrics don't matter at all. Raymond Marasigan said in the production notes of Ultra Electromagnetic Pop, actually an anti-pop statement against the people who said that we could not do a decent pop song. We showed them that any idiot can make one with a catchy beat and nonsense lyrics. Hmm. Kung ganun, may sense pa rin ang mga salitang they try to tell us we're too young. Gusto ko itong toyang kasi ang sarap niyang kantahin. Pang kontra ito sa mga nega. They tell us we're too young? We'll show them. Yaya ni ginamin ang mundo. Simple man, pero at least masaya kami. Contented sa buhay. E kayo, dagdag pa natin na mabilis tong kantang toyang. Kaya uh, tumatatak agad sa utak. Mabilis, may buhay, ang sarap magsayaw at mag-headbang habang kinakanta tong kantang to. Pito-pito. Huwag mo nang itanong sa akin Di ko rin naman sasabihin Huwag mo nang itanong sa akin At di ko na isipin The lyrics of this song do not make sense. The story jumps from asthma attack to sweepstakes to field trip in a pencil factory. Is this lyrical inconsistency a thing among Beatles-inspired bands? At least based on the chorus, I think the theme of Wag Mo Nang Itanong is the same as another song when you say nothing at all. There are two ways you can... Ask a person, especially a loved one, to shut up. The silent treatment can only go so far. 
One, you can speak out, but everything will surely turn worse. Or two, you can beg for silence. The Eheads wrote a song pleading for peace and quiet, and amazingly, it sounds romantic. Or, you know, I could be wrong. Maybe that is not what this song means. Maybe what the song actually means is nothing, complete nothing. Gusto ko itong wag mo nang itanong kasi pwede mo siyang awitin ng walang instrumento. I have a soft spot for a cappella songs or a cappella like songs and wag mo nang itanong can pass for an a cappella song. At di hamak na mas magandang awitan mo ang isang tao para mapatahimik kesa sigawan mo. Hindi mo naman siguro sisigawan ang isang sanggol para mapatahimik siya, di ba? Pang-anib. Sagutin mo lang ako, aking sintay, walang ngumpay na ligaya at sang ibigin ka sa tanghali sa gabi at maga wag sanang magtanong at magduda. Gaya ng alapaap, naalala ko kung kailan ko nagustuhan ang kantang ligaya. UP Diliman Lantern Parade o Parada ng Mga Parol, ito ay isang tradisyon sa universidad na nagtatakda ng pagtatapos ng unang semestre at yung simula ng SEM break na natapat na sa Christmas break dahil sa calendar shift. 2014, akala ko yun yung huli ko ng Lantern Parade. Yun din yung una kong Lantern Parade. Para lang masabi ko na naranasan ko ang parada ng mga parol bilang estudyante, sumama na ako. Wala namang mawawala eh. Isa ang ligaya sa mga awit na kinanta ng aming kolehiyo habang umiikot sa academic oval. Isa pa dyan yung kantang alapaap na napag-usapan ko na at ang isa pang awit na mamaya ako pag-uusapan. I like ligaya because of the beat. It's fast fun to sing, and you can dance to it. I'm not surprised our college chose to sing this song uh, while we walked around the academic oval. It's a celebratory tune, the perfect way to end the semester and to mark the beginning of the Christmas vacation. After all, the word ligaya means overflowing joy. Initially, I thought that ligaya was the name of the person being wood, yung nililigawan dito sa kantang to. Pero binabasa ko ulit yung lyrics. Walang humpay na ligaya. Ligaya here means joy, happiness, celebration. The lyrics are nothing special. It's about a person who promises to do everything so that the person being wood, 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 wood. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. So that the singer would finally get the sweet yes of the person that that singer is courting. O nililigawan. Para makuha yung matamis na oo. I don't think I'll go as far as the protagonist in Ligaya. You know, I won't do anyone's thesis. Integrity, man. Integrity. Nor would I beg the attention of a person who I have strong feelings for. I'm not going to play an act. I'm not going to pretend to be someone I'm not. I'd rather stay true to myself, even if it means... Growing old alone. At this point in my life, I prefer building long-lasting friendships instead. I'm old. I'm tired. I give up. Besides, you would not want to end up with someone who's just playing an act, who's just putting on a mask, pretending to be someone who will bring you salvation, who will be your guardian angel, but turns out 
would give you and your family a living hell. I wouldn't want that, would you? At least, at the very least, masasabi ko sa sarili ko at sa buong mundo. Wala akong ginawa ng thesis, ha? Ituloy natin ang usapan sa susunod na linggo. Maraming salamat, paalam, at kita-kits.